Hello again, everyone. It's Kim Hong here again. All right. So I'm going to be sharing another trade idea for you guys. Pound Aussie, Australian jobs market dented by Delta variant. Okay. <clears throat> so earlier today, the um, I think it was the Australian Bureau of Statistics, okay, ABS, um, released the monthly employment figures for the month of August, okay? So it turns out that um, there was a 146,300 jobs being lost, okay, in that month. It was actually quite a strong, I would say, decline, okay, in terms of number of jobs. Um, as you guys know, you know, the recent Delta, Delta variant of the virus, okay, has a strong impact on Australia, causing it to, um, causing the lockdown restrictions to be reimposed in several parts of Australia, especially the New South Wales, okay? So as a result, you know, the economy was hit pretty badly and of course the jobs market as well, right? So yeah, 146,300 jobs were lost during that month. And um, as a result, we actually saw a weakening in the Australian dollar, all right? Now, um, in my previous post, I also mentioned that the UK Office of National Statistics actually reported a rise in annual inflation okay, in August. Um, in fact, the annual inflation data was actually a nine-year high. Okay, I think it was reported at 3.2%. Right, This is actually a very strong figure coming out from the UK. And um, as a result, the British pound actually strengthened slightly. Okay, Not a major strengthening, but you know, there's still some form of strengthening, okay? Um, so over here, we have the UK, the British pound strengthening, uh, strengthening due to the um, good inflation figure, okay? And the Australian dollar that weakened early on today due to the poor jobs report being released, all right? So that is my motivation behind my buy stock trade idea for pound Aussie. Let me jump over to my chart. Okay. So as you can see that um, Pound Aussie, okay, by the way, this is um, on a H4 time frame, all right? So you can see that Pound Aussie has been hovering just below the um, this blue line over here, which is the 1.89 handle, okay? Um, yeah, several tests to break beyond this level, but to no avail, okay? Um, Nonetheless, I'm actually waiting to see if Pound Aussie will breach above this level. Okay, and if it if and if it, and if it actually breaks above, then you know it will actually present us with um, good buying opportunities. Okay, especially with the strong fundamentals coming out from the Australia. Okay, and the uh, sorry, strong fundamentals coming out from the UK. Okay, and um, yeah, poor jobs report coming out from Australia, right? Giving us the um, a clearer direction as to where Pound Aussie um, can move, all right? So at the moment, our indicators um, not showing that strong, I would say they're not showing that strong of a upward momentum, all right? So I'll still be supervising this um, trade idea and see how it turns out, all right? No. In a case whereby it breaks above the 1.89 handle, okay, I'll be looking to buy at the 1.893 level, okay? So, um, suppose this trade were to be triggered, all right? Where would our potential take profit level and our stop loss level be? Now, let me just start with stop loss, okay? It is likely that I will set my stop loss around 100 pips below the um, entry level. Okay, it's over, it's below this, um, you know, this bunch of hovering candles just below the 1.89 handle, all right? 100 pips below. As for our potential take profit level, okay, I'll probably be looking at somewhere slightly below this level, which is around 200 pips, okay? So this is actually, um, I would say, a good risk reward. I'm risking 100 pips to make a potential 200 pips, all right, of profits. So um, yeah, that is pretty much it for my trade idea, okay? Um, also keep in mind that the Bank of England will be announcing their monetary policies um, decision next week, 
um, yeah, I think it's still like some three or four days away, all right? So I believe we will be hearing something from the Bank of England, all right? So um, I will be updating you guys again on, you know, what to expect from the Bank of England, um, basically a prep for the, you know, Bank of England for you guys out there if you are planning to trade the, um, the news event, all right, next week. So um, just remember to tune in to, you know, the currency call, the, our daily currency call, okay, and I'll update you guys more, all right? So in the case whereby this trade idea has been triggered, okay, I will update you guys on the um, Traders Club um, Ecofin platform, okay? So if you're not in the, if you have not joined us yet, you know, join us in the Traders Club and you receive a lot of um, assistance, a lot of aid in, in terms of, you know, your trading journey, Okay, so with that, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow during the currency call. All right, take care for now.